Hey everyone, so this is episode two of the Life of Christ series. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Welcome to the Life of Christ series episode two. So in this episode, we are going to be specifically speaking about prophecy. So for those of you who did not see episode one, you go back and watch episode one so that everything will make sense to you as you watch episode two. Genesis is the original book of redemption. So as we read through the book of Genesis, we see over and over again how the Lord has tried to redeem his people from sin. In episode one, we spoke about the promise that was given in Genesis chapter three, verse 15. The promise was that the man, through a woman would defeat and conquer sin once and for all. So as we see after that initial sin, after that falling away from the relationship with God, Adam and Eve are sent to live outside of the garden and life as we know it has now begun for them. So they have pain, they have suffering, they have sin, they have death. All these things that they would not have seen had they remained in the garden and in that perfect life with the Lord. Outside of the garden, life is brutal. We see that the man and the woman had covered themselves with fig leaves, which is no remedy at all. What God does as he expels them from the Garden of Eden, he takes an animal, he kills it, and he takes the skins of that animal and covers the man and the woman. That is the first time we read of an animal dying. And that is the first time we read of the shedding of blood to cover, like physically cover the man and woman. Continuously in the Old Testament, we see that repeated over and over again. The point of the Lord covering their nakedness was covering their sin. Had they not sinned, they would not know they were naked and they wouldn't need to be covered. That imprint of Adam's nature continued throughout the generations and sin became more and more rampant and therefore the Lord had to institute a way of covering sin the way he did for Adam and Eve. When the Israelites leave Egypt, the Lord gives Moses the plan of the tabernacle. The thing about the tabernacle plan and that part of the existence of the people of Israel was that at that time, once a year, and only one person, which was the high priest, would take the blood of an animal. He would sacrifice that animal unto the Lord, take that blood as a form of offering for the sins of the people. It does not completely eliminate the sin. It doesn't even delete the sin. It just covers the sin and gives them another year to make themselves right with the Lord. However, the Lord's plan was that one day there would be a perfect lamb and his shed blood would not only cover the sins of the people, but it would defeat sin itself. See exactly how the Lord is bringing redemption to his people. As time passes, prophecies start to circulate about this coming Messiah, this coming lambs in Deuteronomy 18, verse 20 to 22. It basically explains the validity of prophecy. So just to paraphrase, it says, if someone asks themselves, how do I know if this word is really from God or not? If the prophecy comes to pass, then you know it was the Lord that spoke it. And if it doesn't, then it wasn't the Lord who spoke it. Then Isaiah 7 verse 14, it says a virgin will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. It is through this virgin, like it was said in the book of Genesis, this savior coming through a woman to defeat sin. Isaiah 9 6 says, child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. That scripture started by a child being born, a son being given. Who's that child? Who's that son that was born? It was Jesus. Notice that verse continues to say, he is the mighty God and the everlasting father. This is God himself coming to us in the form of flesh to pay all of the debt for our sin 
and this is the prophecy being fulfilled of the coming Messiah. See even more the development of how the Lord is bringing his redemption into play. If you like the content on this channel, please do consider subscribing, share it with whoever you know would love this content. We would love for this family to grow and to grow in the knowledge of God. So with that being said, remember you are too blessed to be stressed. Take care. God bless.